Hey everybody, welcome. My name is Melissa and I will be your cosmic guide today. Um, I We're going to do a little bit of channeling and um, I built a crystal grid for us for the 3-3 three, three energy and um, I was outside saying some prayers and uh, meditating before I started. I'm thinking, well, what am I supposed to do today? I was nudged to do a video and um, it was pretty cool. Like I, I, I saw um, two giant birds just fly together through the sky. Beautiful clouds today, beautiful sky today. And um, they were in union, unison, unity. And um, then a hummingbird came up and just chatted with me in the, the yard and um, bounced around back and forth and up and down and all around. And I was really, really connected to all of the elements as I was praying and, and just talking with Source, God, Creator. And um, it was really cool. So we'll do a little bit of cha channeling. And um, I'm going to start with this. Um, um, a little bit from the bird energy, the hummingbird energy. So um, the skies are amped up, is what they're saying. The skies are um, holding the light grid, the new earth energy light grid for us as we continue to integrate and cleanse, clear, realign um, with the new earth energies, the golden era new, th new earth energies. Each one of us in our energy forms, mind, body, spirit, soul, are connecting in different ways, um, like stepping forward in different ways with all of the energies of each system and each layer of the Earth's energy form. So, um, and what I mean by that is um, we, um, human beings, have um, layers and layers. We have chakras and um, many chakras. Um, chakras we don't know about energy systems and we have what we have um, oxygen skeletal systems lymphatic systems things like that in our system and we also have the mental emotional spiritual ethers um, in many layers in our um, personal universe um, that we have around ourselves our own energy systems our forms mind, body, spirit, soul. And each layer of the earth also has that. So the earth has, you know, we say the core, the heart of the earth, and we have uh, many layers and many levels, which also have um, mental, emotional, spiritual, ether, mind, body, spirit, soul layers of mother earth. And each layer of our systems around us are, um, let's just say, our homes, our um, careers, our um, medical systems, our, um, our school systems, our political systems have layers of um, earth, air, fire, water, ether. And we're coming into balance, realigning, 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 and delousing from the lower matrices. So that would be like um, just the old school codes, templates, and belief systems that we have all had. And as we are um, really all praying for peace and for the innocent people in the world, um, as there is great war waging again, as it has been, and war between people, lots of spell works done, lots of lying, cheating, stealing, manipulations, betrayals, um, harms done, um, and as people are have been in the past, seeing each other as lesser or easy to trick or um, usable. And those kinds of templates are only distorted templates um, of the fallen Garden of Eden, the serpent Garden of Eden, because um, none of those um, characteristics or energy frequencies belong in our um, systems, in our personal um, systems, ourselves, our people, our personal systems, mind, body, spirit, soul, um, form, or any systems that we have in our neighborhoods, in our cities, in our states, in our countries, in our anything. None of these 
blockages or lower dense energies belong in our society. And um, certainly, as we have been talking about for decades, the earth is ascending. We knew this. It's Revelations time. Um, um, Mayan calendars, all cultures, um, systems, belief systems knew at this time. There's even that. I love the, I love this song. There's that song, the age of Aquarius from the 70s. And um, get this, that was from the band called Fifth Dimension. Everybody everywhere inside internally knew that we were going to come to, into these times. And um, they're telling me, so spirit, um, the light of God is telling me to tell you about when I was a little child and um, had visitations. <laughs> I think it's the dorkiest story ever. Um, but um, as a little girl, I was kind of quiet usually and half naked running around in bathing suits and you know, January, February, because I have no idea. We should just really not have to have so many blockages or covers or um, things like that, the masks. And so um, as a little kid, I would have visitations like little, like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, um, visitations from a beautiful angelic being that I didn't quite understand was um, Pleiadian angel. So um, it was much later that I learned that. And um, I just thought she was Glinda the Good Witch. Because my understanding, um, even though I had a um, beautiful God, divine background, religious background, and good teachers, um, parents that were great teachers, um, I didn't quite understand the concept of angels when I was a tiny child. And I saw the shiny beings. And in particular, this one would come visit every... I don't know, three, four months. I don't know, because I was little. So it could have been every few weeks. But um, she used to come and tell me about these days to come and um, that we were going to awaken and ascend. I don't know what words she used. Um, my little girl mind um, probably didn't understand words like ascension or awakening or um, starseed. But she said... Um, a lot of things and taught me a lot of things about energy and how I perceived um, energetic structures, energies since I was a little child. And um, she was real shiny and rainbowy and that's why I thought she floated in the air and, and, and was bright light. And so um, I, I would tell my parents like, I have to go to bed and go talk to the lady. And so they were always really good. And um, my mother um, always helped me um, learn from a peculiar perspective that they didn't understand. They kept me safe and um, helped me learn and grow and um, connect with God in different ways. And she was just beautiful at helping me, like my best teacher. Because um, as I grew up as a, a full-on psychic medium starseed that I didn't even know what that was um, in the Midwest in the early 70s, I didn't have any teachers. And still... Um, there's a lot of um, just heavy energy there um, that's being cleansed and cleared, just like um, all the heavy energies within ourselves, the generational patterning, the um, wounds and traumas that we carry, um, spell works of the world, people. I, I can't even, it's, it's a ridiculous kind of subject there. Um, but the truth is that I was being prepared and I had for many, many lifetimes to be a psychic medium and be a little bit unique and um, creative and colorful in my expression in these times so that we could all, um, whoever um, was my soul family, soul friends, soul ties, um, soul, soul contracts, um, could all hold the light. And so as I was outside praying, um, Earlier, there was um, a lot of fluttering and and um, the communication or the visitation was also from the Pleiadians and the hummingbird energy. And I saw um, a fantastic, I mean, a little animals outside and um, it just made my heart so happy and open up. And I, the main message today is as we walk through these times where we are continuing to cleanse, in 2022, 
We've got the 3-3 three, three energy portal opening, and it is being cleansed and cleared of all the lower dense energies that have kept us off track, the lower matrix darkness. And um, we are literally rising up, even though it feels really tumultuous. And so that's going on in the world stages, as well as um, different layers and systems in each of our own lives, um, different parts of the world. We're um, going through shifting, cleansing, clearing, realigning, and um, what I call delapsing from the darkness. Just, you know, I'm still creative on these things. A little bit ridiculous, but um, creative. So um, as we delapse from the lower serpent matrix, um, that can be really uncomfortable and, and pull us off balance and, um, you know, make us suspect and go against each other because one of the main designs of the lower serpent fallen Garden of Eden matrices, matrices, pardon me, and um, other templates um, such as Atlantis. And um, that's a big one that's being cleared right now. Some of the, the heavy, darkest, nastiest, most filthy abominations that have ever been um, in these um, different consciousnesses and our past um, perhaps past lives and timelines are being stripped away piece by piece, cleansed and cleared. And we've been working on this, all of us who are light workers, star seeds, um, empaths, um, psychics, mediums, healers, teachers, ministers, nice people, honest people, good people, from the heart people. Um, uh, all of the words, rainbow children, um, all of them, all of the words. We have all been working in Christed energy and um, to hold the light for all of humanity in different ways. We've all had different jobs. We've all had different mi missions and purposes. And um, it's pretty cool today to um, have some wonderful messages. Each one of you have had your own unique missions and purposes as you have been in your own ways um, and own, own words and belief systems pulling out of the matrix and um, coming into the next steps of the cleansed, cleared, balanced, whole, um, as above, so below, peace on earth, um, clear um, blueprints, matrixes of the light. The whole universe has been waiting for us to catch on. Um, and so I pulled a few cards and I'm feeling that beautiful energy as the Pleiadian energy and the um, earth, air, fire, water, ether energy of pure divine light is, is almost like being pulled together. And the Pleiadians are saying right now, um, um, my divine friend of pure divine light, she is saying we are holding the skies um, and stretching the fabric of the skies in every layer. Um, therefore... Um, that surrounds the earth and each human being as it was meant to be and cleansing and clearing meaning pulling out um, thread by thread the darker lower denser um, energies and frequencies the belief systems the um, suffering darkness fear pain sickness yearning the dark dense energies losses and grief um, that have been imposed and, and projected and um, implanted into each human being in different ways, different levels, different layers, and um, mass consciousness and mass consciousness layers and systems, belief systems and everything. So, um, <coughs> pardon me, the very fabric of the universe is stretching out the earth um, quadrant of the galaxy, stretching, stretching, and we, human beings, um, and the light of God, as it was written, is pulling out, um, uncoding, delousing, pulling out strand by strand of the fabric of um, the lower dark matrices. And um, in that is if we keep our eyes open and look up, um, through the um, transitions, through the integrations, 
through these layers of what we're walking through, navigating through, um, we can realize um, and recognize the light in each other and um, no longer have separation and persecution and things like that going on as we can look at the world stage and go, oh my God, crazy train is going on over and war here and there and um, the systems like why is it, why are many people without um, things like health care or balance or um, there's is always and always has been in this free will universe that went totally wrong and um, just just um, sort of ate itself in darkness. Um, there's always been plenty enough abundance, freedom, wholeness, love, peace, wholeness, healthiness. And we can recognize if we look up in our everyday lives, we can look up and see the light in each other and our surroundings. And um, that's not so easy. Like we are all in pain and grief and suffering in some ways here and there. And um, we are sad every time there are terrorist attacks or um, um, war being waged against innocent people. Um, it's almost like there's it's very obvious that everyone being affected, lives being ruined, killed, um, are innocent people and they have no choice or free will. And it's just the darkness that just is outrageously trying to grasp on and keep us in bondage under control. So today, um, I pulled a couple of cards for us from the Star Seeds. I love this one. Star Seeds, little Star Seeds deck. And I got, get this, guidance. I'm going to ask for us cleansing, clearing, healing um, in whatever ways are best for each one of us. And um, a clear divine connection with our guidance in the way we understand each one of us that's best for us. Um, so this card says, you are not alone. True that. You are guided by masters and teachers of the highest realms, which um, we will come into understanding in the next years um, and generations that the higher frequencies are indeed um, also ascending. And so what's happening is... Um, as we come out of the inverted upside down lower matrix, um, we are all coming into balance as above, so below. In the three energy, the um, divine masculine and feminine in each one of us balancing um, and being deloused from any distortion or darker energies, wounds, traumas, um, whatever's been imprinted or projected upon us, um, diagnosis or um, prejudices, um, belief systems that have kept us blocked and blinded and stuck um, or activities and actions of others, um, crimes committed against us, things like that, um, injustices, uh, losses, grief. Those things are being um, cleansed and cleared so that um, the divine masculine and feminine be can become the bride of Christ in us and um, Yin Yang, pure divine balance. And in the 3 3 energy, we are more connected cleanly and clearly with the divine. And that um, places us in a position in our mind, body, spirit, soul forms and in all layers of the earth, um, her form and the systems that we live in in the earth, mind, body, spirit, soul form. Um, it places us in the, the balance as above, so below. So a lot of light coming in, solar flares, all kinds of stuff coming in, giving us um, um, a little bit more awakening. It's been uncomfortable, um, but really good. And we are more connected to our higher selves, God, source, creator, our guides and guardian angels more than ever. And the Pleiadian um, council angel uh, woman that, is here is saying we just want you to know that we're holding that for you as you integrate and step forward in your transformations earth air 
fire, water, ether. It is our natural state of being to be in balance in all of those ways and connected with God. Source. The other card I pulled, um, two came out, was creation. I haven't read these cards that I pulled. I just um, said a prayer and pulled some. Um, being creative is a wonderful way of witnessing and unfolding and the, the unfolding of your limitlessness, creative soul. As we are in these energies, standing in these beautiful energies, um, and learning to stabilize, stay in balance, um, and that Holy Trinity as above energy, that places us in direct contact communication again with our guides and guardian angels, our higher self, God, um, and gives us um, balance enough to create. And as always, I would never recommend um, anyone doing any creation or spells or it bindings or anything against anyone else, only doing the highest good. And I would not recommend anyone sending back things like, um, you know, they say that so-and-so has been doing black magic to me. Trust me, in my lifetime, I think, I think people have done more magic and spells and spell works. And I would watch them and I would just be like, that's kind of stupid. Uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> because the, the divine magic is what's coming into us. And I would never recommend saying, I'm sending that back tenfold. Because the the balancing of this universe, the influx of light is balancing out these things and all throughout history and each human being that have ever lived, the fragmented pieces of all of us, um, human consciousness, um, and our personal lives are being balanced out. I would not be playing around or slamming back things or binding people or thinking you know more or thinking you know their karma or anything like that. That would be a bad choice. Um, so I pulled a couple more cards in the Starseed Oracle. This is Starseed Oracle as well. I love this one. It is never wrong. Let's see what we got. I didn't look at these either. Ah, deep cellular healing. So, um, that's what the Pleiadian lady is telling us on the, um, cellular levels, molecular structure of energy, um, fabrics being pulled out. And um, each layer that is dark, lower energy, distorted energies, um, circumstances, um, experiences, past life cycles repeating. They're being cleansed out of your cellular structure and the cellular structure of the energies around us. And the walls and the chairs and the cellos and the, oh, there's a cat sleeping over there, and the um, structures. And so this is um, one of the reasons that I, I love to build um, crystal grids for us. And I, most of them I don't share publicly, but I just say prayers and ask the, the uh, molecular structure, the minerals, the molecular structure to hold pure divine light. And um, because the crystals can't um, be judgmental and prejudice and lie and cheat and steal and um, whatever it is, have, you know, think they have the right to harm others or have 64 husbands and girlfriends and wives and um, things all at once and harm a lot of people because that cellular, cellular structure is part of the earth physical realm and um, holds the vibration of frequencies that we ask for as they are cleansed and cleared also in this, this energetic transformation that we're going through. So um, deep cellular healing, I think that's perfect. That's what the Pleiadians are telling us today. And that's a little bit what the um, hummingbird was talking about too. Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing. Look at this card. It's kind of cool. Look, she's a little angel, earth angel, like you are, like I am, like we are. And these um, gateways behind her, templates. Gateways, layers, levels, earth, air, fire, water um, in our um, physical, emotional, spiritual, mental forms. And um, we're having healing, cleansing, clearing in that. It's almost like a another power washing. The other card I pulled two um, out of this one. And ah, I love this one. Double mission. 
So look at this person as they're um, connecting with source. Um, all the understanding of the universe is coming in and all the um, stars and the um, angels and the light is coming into understanding and they're realizing all of it is worth it as they have walked through the valley of shadow and the shadow of death um, and the pain and the suffering and having to deal with um, horrifying um, people and circumstances such as war um, or in people using their power incorrectly or um, thinking they can pull the wool over all of our eyes and somehow get us to go against each other in different ways and think like war and murder and um, abuses, atrocities, abomination is sort of like normal, the norm. Um, so it's not. And pieces of the um, very systems of the fabric of the very systems of the darkness that surround us, that engulf us, that keep us in bondage are being pulled out and the new codes are coming into the light. The new matrix is holding us up as we navigate through, stay in balance and learn how to um, come back into our whole selves. So we got deep cellular healing and double missions. And I promise you, you and I are going to start recognizing why all of that was worth it. Why all of um, it was worth it to um, have other people accuse you, set you up, lie, cheat, steal, commit massive amounts of crimes against us, starseeds, um, rainbow children, light workers, psychics, healers, um, and call us names when um, it was untrue and it was actually them. <laughs> and um, as the hand of God, the breath of God, the light of God comes in, and balances it. We might not ever see what, like, have you know, justice or anything like that. Um, but the the universe is balancing, and things like war, or all the way down to things that have happened to you and me, like um, cheating um, husbands, wives, or um, our work cheated us and lied and tricked us a little bit, um, and just thought they knew more than we did. They thought they were very genius and. Um, whatever it was that's happened having to deal with the narcissists or the, the liars and the cheaters and the thieves of the world and the meek are coming into eye-opening um, spaces where um, they are inheriting the earth the honest the true people so I did pull a couple of other cards and apparently this is going to be a long video from Beyond Lemuria and the Lemurian template. Um, and I've talked about this for months with my um, my teacher mentor. She keeps saying, you know, when you're having a hard time, just um, pull yourself up into that Lemurian um, frequency because the Lemurian frequency was the most whole, safe, um, balanced, beautiful in the earth, air, fire, water, ether, balance or mind, body, spirit, soul, um, physical, uh, mental, emotional, spiritual balance in the layers and the templates. So, um, so I'm going to ask that if you want to, um, you can feel that peace. You can feel that, um, beautiful light, um, of consciousness that the Lemurian codes, templates, um, matrices, held for us that was not tainted like um, um, for instance there's another one you know like Avalon where Merlin and King Arthur times those were very tainted by the darkness I mean taken dark and um, magics or divine magic was um, so Christ was so inverted um, in us and our minds that we were disconnected and Atlantis um, was one of the worst ones. Maldek, all kinds of layers and templates, many that I don't know about uh, or know the names for. They're all being cleansed and cleared through us through this awakening time. So beyond Lemuria, wow. I hadn't looked at these. Look at how cool these are. Trust your innocence. So look at her angel, earth angel self and the 
it's almost like magical divine um, beauty of who she is and she's a star and her star is aware her um, systems are aware and upright not inverted but upright in the balanced pure divine light matrices of the universe and um, you know the innocence the childlike beauty and um, curiosity and creativity and art of who we are is coming back online and you can trust that innocence to um, purity to be connected with source God creator in you you deserve it you're worth it and you're not alone everything you've been through is it's gonna be worth it look at that there's a you know, earth grid matrices around her. There's that cosmic heart. Look at the rainbow. Um, grid and the life force energy that is being um, given back to us. Everything that was stolen. Um, like, I'll just use me for instance. So, <clears throat> three different decades of my life um, tar had severe targeting and, and um, some of the most vile, um, dark, maybe we could call them demonic people, magicians of the world, um, focused on me um, in really disgusting, gross ways. Um, so they don't know magic, they don't know divine magic, but they think they do. And they're being used by the most severe dark darkness <laughs> to hold on to us. Um, and one of the main things that they do is try to steal pieces, abilities, um, gifts, talents, life force energy, um, so that we would call them um, in the Bible or different texts and scripts. Um, it would be called soul harvesting and um, bonding so that they can hose or vampire or parasite energy from us um, who are the light. And those things are being undone, not by us. We're not sending them, sending them back or anything like that. I'm not, at least. I never have. I never will. Um, I ask the um, Christed, pure divine light, love of the universe to take care of things as um, the div divine will sees fit. So if you all think that's magical, then um, go for it. I, I, I dare you to give it a try. Um, so the life force energy that was taken from us, from wars, from exhaustion um from overwhelm from losses grief suffer anything that's ever happened to us throughout history and any culture any um human being and the collective humanity is being given back to us in pure divine wholeness piece by piece um thread by thread just like the pleiadian council lady was um angelic being was saying um strand by strand Thread by thread, the dark energies that were imposed, attached, um, placed into us are being pulled out, cleansed and cleared and healed. And those life force energies of Mother Earth and every system of the Earth, um, Earth, air, fire, water, and ether are being put, placed back into us. And they're holding those grids so that we can re learn to receive and stay in balance and stability because we're all... Like as we are awakening, we are all, it's almost like newborns, like three days old. You know, the, the newborns, the beautiful children, um, creation, image of God, um, cannot feed themselves, drive to work, um, be um, engineering plans of how to <laughs> build that building over there or um, learn how to save the world because they're three days old. So we are all in that space. And these new earth codes, which are the original divine blueprint of um, all that is, source, light, and the Garden of Eden, perhaps, coming into us. So um, I'm going to take us over now to the um, talk about the crystals and the earth or the grid. And um, show us a little bit. So I've got... As always, I've got selenite. 
little pieces of selenite. Those are my favorite. And I've got these um, purple plates, which is Tesla energy that brings everything back into um, the purple, the um, violet flame wholeness, healthiness, wholeness. Um, got a piece of calcite so that we can see. Um, and my prayer is that this energy shows us how to see with eyes of Christ, which would mean purity. And in the middle here, I have um, Chrysocolla um, with Shattachite in it. And it's just a really strong energy to dispel lower um, darknesses. And this, this is Cavansite. Um, bringing forgiveness, healing, balance um, in layers after layer. Look at this um, matrices that it's in. Cavansite, one of my favorites. I got some sugar light and the pink tool light um, crystals. I've got um, sprinkles of labradorite. And I've got the um, titanium um, soaked crystal points with the pretty colors. And um, this is pyrite. My friend Melissa that owns the miner's pick in Jerome and I think in Arkansas as well gave this to me. It's a beautiful gift. Um, and I asked for that to hold in the matrices for us. Protection, safety, truth, protection. I'm sorry if I'm holding the camera not very well. Um, and ask that golden energy of pure divine light to come for, uh, in, for us. And I've got hematite and for every layer of who we are. Holding safety, protection, and balancing of all of our systems. Tectites, um, fuchsite, pink tourmaline, um, angelite, citrines, um, amazonite, appetite. And all of these I ask for, to hold the pure divine light energy of the universe. Here's um, pink opal and opalite, which I love, even though it's a little bit man-made. And I ask for that to help us in the balancing of our, um, our matrices and our transitions. And as we are being recoded and rebalanced in the um, true coding of the universe. So... Um, there's our crystal grid that I've been saying prayers over and with and for this um, beautiful March energy, the 3-3 three, three energy. And um, I just want to send out great love, great thanks to each and every one of you um, and ask for um, the highest good, love, peace, joy, truth, um, those things to be held um, in the highest of our good and whatever is best for each one of us, for you, for our world. Peace, lots of peace and um, safety and comfort, nurturing, nurturing nourishment um, for our Mother Earth and each layer in each system, um, including those that are being ravaged by war or um, injustices or uh, misuses of power or uh, where anyone is in slavery or bondage to the um, lower matrix and one more real quick mention um, many of us will be awakening to our double mis missions and I, I just got back from Newport Beach oh my gosh it was so amazing a lot of people very expensive um, but glorious to see that ocean and to be with some of the most amazing people really really kind and generous good people and um, I'm very grateful to have um, been able to be there and that ocean water in the air and I could feel it just cleansing and clearing and helping me find serenity and, and rebalancing, rebalancing and realigning and realigning with the highest good in myself. So, um, and the readings were awesome and I think everybody liked them a lot and I was so grateful to be able to um, go travel and, and come to your city and in space um, to be able to do that again and help um, 
and others find their own healing and their answers and truth and their hearts healed and um, just amazing. And so I think each one of us are going to be able to find some clarity and truth and see clearly some of those double missions of life that we came here for. How's that star seeds? How's that rainbow? Um, loved ones, how's that light workers? And um, our empathy is being cleansed and cleared and realigned as we um, get to work with others or get to be um, quiet and be to ourselves. And maybe our jobs are changing, our lives, our homes, and um, we'll be activated with our missions and purposes and passions more and more in the days to come. Thank you all. I had um, a good time talking. I hope this was helpful and I love you. And I send great, really just waves of peace and highest good for all. And um, I'll stay, I'll keep this grid up a little bit in my um, office living room. And um, I, I um, will continue to pray and ask for the highest good for all and the balancing of whatever um, is highest good for each of our matrix pieces in us. Take care, everybody. If you want an appointment or um, want to schedule something, um, just information, web pages in the box below. Thank you.